Who's coming on today? Who's coming on today? IDC, the Identity Crisis. The Mrs. Identity Crisis. Mrs. Saga Musician will be on. Yes. Like, my apartment was open in 2001. Wow. Okay. And wow. Blue Suede Sues, mm-hmm. it's been around for 22 years. 22 years. For a club. Like, I remember when I used to work at a gas station when I was a kid, mm-hmm. and adults used to, like, drive up and ask me where it was. Mm-hmm. And it's still there. It is. Yeah. And we went there, right? We did. <laughs> So we went there actually to see the yeah, identity we, crisis. Yeah, we, yeah, exactly. We saw him. We went to see his performance, yeah. and it was very, very interesting and was, unique and uh, different. Was, you know what it looks like? <laughs> it was kind of like um, you went to Mexico, mm-hmm. right? And you went to a club resort. That's what I felt like. Right. Right. Yeah, but it was the the decor was very random. Like you had the surfboards with mannequin legs, mannequin and you legs. also had a Statue of Liberty. Yeah. At the other end of the room, and then a grand piano with no keys, no <laughs> strings, if there was and and Elvis was propped in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was pretty interesting. Very, they yeah. have a really loyal following though. They do because yeah. at the end you of the day, that. yeah, they the people that went there 22 years ago mm-hmm. are probably still the same people that go there. That's now. true. <laughs> so. <laughs> Welcome back to Insaga.com podcast here on Rogers TV, and we have the identity crisis with us, Mississauga musician. What's up, man? Not much. How you doing? Thanks, Thanks. for being here. Uh, my pleasure. So, so tell us what your Mississauga connection is. I was raised in Mississauga. This is my hometown, and I will forever wear that as a badge of honor. You know, when MySpace was taking off and people were like, I'm from Toronto, I'm from Hamilton, or whatever. <laughs> but everyone was saying Toronto. I was saying Mississauga because that's my hometown. I went to high school here. I went to elementary school here. This is this nice. is Nice. So on your Twitter, it. you said Mississauga, right? I did say Mississauga. Nice. That's cool. I refuse cool. to say Toronto because I don't like driving downtown. Okay. <laughs> I hate the driving. I hate the driving. Yeah, so do we. So do we. That's true. So um, the Identity Crisis, a.k.a. IDC, um, can you tell us a little bit about like what that's about? Uh, my music? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Your music and as, as also your name. Oh, okay. So I came up with the name The Identity Crisis originally because I didn't know what sort of category to file under. You know, when you go to HMV, you go to Music World. Sorry, Music World's defunct. <laughs> but when you go to the music <laughs> the store... The old school people remember. Yeah. When you go to the music store, you, um, you've got, you know, like pop rock, you've got hip-hop, you've got urban, you've got all that stuff, and I feel like um, growing up, I always used to listen to everything. Mm-hmm. kind of shows itself. I've incorporated a whole bunch of different things into my sound, so I don't know really what to classify as, hence the identity crisis. Cool. Plus, cool. I don't know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, you have a song called Let's Go to the Cougar Bar, <laughs> okay? It's very catchy. It is <laughs> so, so catchy. I uh, Sorry, and just uh, not to cut you off, but we do uh, rib fest and stuff like that. And I put your music on all the time because I like to show off Mississauga music. And every time people pass by the booth, anytime your music's on, they're shaking their butt. Okay. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> In a good way. So, awesome. <laughs> but they really like uh, Let's <laughs> Go to the Cougar Bar. So can you please explain what that song's about? Okay. <laughs> well... I think it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. I'm just saying, yo, let's go have fun. Nice. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> do, do, at the Cougar Bar. At the Cougar Bar. Like the Cougar ladies. <laughs> I, I, um, you know, I wrote a song when I was 18 called 35, which was about a 35-year-old woman. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that's kind of always been something for me. Cool. Nice. So, um, IDC, if you know, dead or alive, if you had a chance to share the stage with somebody, who would that be? Dead or alive? Mm-hmm. Mm, good question. Can I can I make a list? Sure. Top five. Okay, top five. Uh, let's say, Jimi Hendrix. Nice. Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes? Yeah. That's cool. That would because be he'd just be fun. Yeah. No, I, but you know that's a dream come true. He's yeah. m- he's one of my favorite rappers of oh, all time. Oh, cool. Uh, Nirvana. Mm-hmm. Cool. Ooh, a tribe called Quest. And. The Wu Tang Clan. Nice. That's cool. Those are good choices. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Where have you played in Mississauga? All over. Mm-hmm. Um, Is there a favorite? Spot? Yeah, my favorite spot closed down. Which one? 
uh, it was called the Lost Lounge inside of uh, Executive Snooker Club. I totally remember oh. that. Yeah. Yeah, it was like at the side. There's a side entrance to the lounge. Yes. And there was like a dual kind of leveled. Yeah, it was uh, like a theater. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? That's cool. And I did my my uh, album release for Record of the Year there back mm -hmm. in 2007. Nice. And um, it was insane. It was yeah. just like that was a it, great venue. It was, yeah. and they put, from what I understand, they put like a hundred something thousand dollars into just that venue part of the of the pool hall. Oh, okay. And is that so, pool hall still there or no? Uh, or it it's it's closed gone? down. Is it gone? It's wow. a grocery store now or something. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's in that sort of like yeah. I don't know. So, coolest uh, coolest gig you've played lately? Lately? Yeah. Uh, I, I just got back from my first American tour. Okay. Where'd um, you go? I played a couple spots, uh, Nashville, St. Louis, and a couple other spots. But my f the most memorable was uh, Small Town, North Dakota. Mm -hmm. I think it was called Williston. The whole town came out. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, it was insane. And, like, literally, I was signing autographs for, like, an, like 45 minutes. You're signing autographs? That's awesome. Yeah, no, and these How were, cool like... that? These were like teeny bopper yeah. chicks. <laughs> like I was. I love you, how do you see? <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. I, I can only imagine what Justin Bieber goes through. You know what I mean? That's crazy. It, how how big was this concert? It was big. It was like a it was like a town. Uh, a a uh, what do you call it? A three was it county. Outside? Ten thousand. The, it was a few thousand. I don't know exact the so exact amount, but it was outdoors. No, this was indoor. Oh wow! But it was like it was like a county fair type thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. So That's the awesome. whole the whole town came out. Would that was, would you consider that to be the coolest gig you've ever played? No, no, no. There's been quite a few really cool things, but this was the like memorable, oh, definitely. Okay. So you got to open for some of um, Canadian like big shots. Yeah, like, Canadian uh, big shots. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I got nervous since I see you here. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I've shared we're, this. We're, we're gonna get his autograph afterwards. Yeah, okay? I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get him to sign for forty five minutes. Um, <laughs> So, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Was it Sean Desmond? Or Sean Desmond. You opened for Sean Desmond. Yeah, I was playing part. Of, I was a uh, part of Reno. Okay. And I was. Yeah. We we opened for Sean Desmond and Danny Fernandez. Where was this? This was at. Uh, this was last year, two years ago. Oh, cool. At uh, s the Portugal Day. Oh, okay. Downtown. Good bunch of guys, or. Yeah. 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 Cool. They were cool. Right. <laughs> Are they Mississauga boys too, or? I'm not sure. I think, I don't, I think I don't maybe know. Danny Fernandez is, but. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. But I've also opened for I, I shared the stage with Arlene yes. and we opened for stereos cool. one year. <laughs> yeah, uh, last, cool. year. Well, last year. Last year. Yeah. You guys opened cool. for stereos? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need your <laughs> autograph too, <man. laughs> And then I opened for uh Carl Wolf and um who's the other one? Oh Rob Bass. You opened up for Rob Bass? I opened for Rob Bass. That was insane. That's pretty cool. And Maestro, Maestro Fresh Wes. Maestro wow. Fresh Wes. Yeah. I know who he is. Classic. I saw him in a Wendy's lineup one time. Really? <laughs> he was just standing right beside me. I said, go, Maestro, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so. Maestro's a cool guy. I saw him uh, in Vancouver. I was walking to Denny's, of all places, and he was crossing the street opposite, and he waved. He's like, hey, what's up? Nice. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Be before I go, I know you're a big WWE fan. Oh, mm -hmm. So I got to ask, best entrance music for a WWE star ever. Ooh, really? Yes, really. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna go with uh, Voodoo Child. Voodoo Child. Hollywood Hogan. Oh, okay, okay, that was yeah. that was good. That's not good. real American. Not okay. when he was red and yellow. I'm talking about when he was black and white. When he was a bad guy. Uh, okay, okay. I have yeah. a better question. Yeah. What, which uh, WWE wrestler would you want your music to play as they enter? Ooh, I'm gonna go with Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, <laughs> nice. Best one ever. I don't care what anybody says. Ultimate Warrior. Oh yeah. Okay, he that. ran in there, did his thing, and ran right back. I could teach you that on guitar if you want. <laughs> Done. Okay. <laughs> so, hey, uh, anything you want to plug? Uh, check out theidentitycrisis.com. I'm also playing at the Hard Rock Cafe on February 9th. So come check that out. Cool. All right, thanks for being on the show, man. Thanks. Okay, we'll be back. Do you like me? Cause I look for stain, bit like an image in the sea.